So guys. Right, you guys know what the drill is. We're going out. By the way, welcome back to another video. So yeah, um, not an event per se, but I'm a huge, huge fan of the movie Coraline. So yeah, and I've, it's one of my all-time favorites. It's my comfort movie. So when I heard that there's something like about Coraline happening in London, the first thing that popped in my head was get the tickets and go. Now, bear in mind, I've known about this place for a while, but I've just had, I've been lazy or I would have something else planned or like, I'd have something going on. Mostly it was excuses and I wouldn't go, but new me, new uh, style of uh, uploading and whatnot has started. So I'm actually going right now. Uh, I had uh, a moment of uh, reconsideration when we went in the morning because I just woke up. It was really really warm in my bed and I don't want to get up so yeah um, but I'm heading to the station right now and I'll see you guys once we are there and if you want to check this out I will explain every single thing about the place and I will also give you a bit back to about Coraline as well because hey, why not but yeah let's get to BFI South Bank if that's where the um, thing is being held in the showcase and yeah see you guys once I'm there Well, I made it to BFI. We're about to go in. I can see the banner already. I'm super excited. Guys, if you haven't seen Coraline, I do recommend watching it. It's, I don't know where it's on, but um, I'll leave links to watch it uh, online if you wanna. It's an amazing movie. It's a movie from 2007. It's about this young girl named Coraline Jones. She dictates, uh, like she's basically, she doesn't dictate, she basically moves to a new city with her distracted parents and Overall, she's quite bored and finds an old secret trap door in her house, in the new house they move into. And when she goes in, she finds a place that shows literally everything. Yo, hey, I'm not that talented, guys. I'm just making a vlog. Just look the part. I'm not that talented. I just, I'm just making vlogs. I just make vlogs. No, not really. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on. Cheers. No, he's not. Check it out. Thank you. No. All right. Before I got sidetracked, so we're right outside the thing, but I head in. But like I was saying, uh, she finds the trap door and meets this uh, a woman that's got button eyes, which is her other mother. But she soon realizes that it's she's very sinister and evil, and yeah. Um, I'll tell you more about the movie and about this uh, exhibition as well, so let's just get into it now. So I took my jacket off, it's really hot, but I'm inside the, the thing, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go for the Coraline stuff, so so still gotta look around. I'm kind of lost, to be honest with you people. Not kind of, completely lost. Ah, I see a counter, maybe, maybe I can find something out now. Okay, so I found it. I'm heading up to the exhibition right now. Guys, I'm so excited because Coraline is, like I said before, one of my top favorites. So, you know, let's see how this goes. Ah, oh, I wish me luck, people. I'm very excited. So we're just in the queue and um, yeah, pretty much that's about it. We're about to go in, but like I said, one of my all-time favorite movies. This is um, 
what a couple of, it's, it's a well, not a couple of it's a, it's a really old film but it was very advanced for its time but yeah i'm gonna quickly put my phone on a tripod so i can get some stable video for you guys so stick around and let's see where this goes so while we're waiting in the queue let me just tell you a bit about the movie so this was this movie came out in 2007 it's um a, it's not like action it's i forgot the exact word like a, a stop a stop motion movie and all the like the expressions and everything they were done uh, by 3d printing not to mention caroline's outfits uh, were hand painted in miniature in the as well and this exhibition basically has a lot of the original sets a bit of behind the scenes and the movie, uh, and a lot of like the memorabilia from it and it's from the same studios that made nightmare uh the nightmare before oh i forgot the movie's name i think it was my nightmare before christmas and uh, James and Giant Peace and a bunch more so yeah I'm gonna stop annoying you guys and wait until we go in again inside right so we're heading in take a look guys so there's a lot of sets like this we've got Coraline uh, Nightmare Boxtron Paranormal and yeah let's go through all of them one, one by one shall we so here we've got Caroline's other bedroom. This is after she goes into the trap door and finds the new house with everything she wants. But it looks amazing. This is the actual sets that they were used. And fun fact, this movie actually took about four years to produce, by the way. So props to these guys for not giving up. Let's go on. There's a lot more to explore inside but the reason being I had to leave is I didn't really know anything about them. I only and only came for this whole purpose of seeing the car line sets which was amazing not gonna lie but yeah that's about it for me. I know today's video is a bit shorter than usual so you know hit that like button if you want like your, uh, longer videos again and yeah I am heading out and hopefully heading home you know unless plans change. But for now, yeah, it's nothing else. But again, amazing day. I, I'm happy just because of that. So as soon as I go home, I'm just watching Coraline again on repeat. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.